longtime fan of your work because I, of course, found out about you like most of the world through Vixen, but you've got a great new solo album, or do you call it a duo album? It's a duo album. It's official. Yeah, it's, it's Gardner James. It's Justin and my baby together. So, yeah, and, well, I, and they've all been that way, actually. Right. Right. It can be a, a complex thing to know whose name goes first, or was it just known outright that your name goes first always? Well, it's alphabetical. <laughs> Gotta be fair. G comes before J, so. <laughs> it worked for Lennon and McCartney until about mm, 15 years ago when Paul wanted it McCartney-Lennon. Right. Well, that's not going to happen here. Well, if Justin wants it, I'll... I'll bend to that. It can be James Gardner. But then that sounds kind of weird. That sounds like a guy's name. Well, isn't that... My brother's actor? name is James Gardner, actually. <laughs> so he'd like that. That's like the actor James Garner, which would confuse a whole lot of people because who knew that he was singing in 2020? Right. It would be like uh, Rockford Files or something. Exactly. When did you finish <laughs> the new album, though? Ooh, we finished it... Let's see, we got back from Australia and um, we were probably finished by May. Yeah, it took, it was short. It was quick because we didn't have any distractions. We couldn't go anywhere. We couldn't do anything. So, you know, we just hunkered down right here in this very chair in front of this very computer and just went to town. Yeah. Uh you never know when you ask artists when the album is done. When they're on a major label, sometimes you'll hear, oh, it's been done for a year. We're just waiting. We've got the next one written already. Whereas indie artists, sometimes they announce the release date before it's actually mastered. Yeah, we were pretty much finished with it. And then, you know, Pavement said, well, we'll, you know, we'll get the soonest available release date we can from Sony. Yeah. And then we'll put it out. So it was... It took a couple months of waiting, but not too bad. Yeah, are you the kind of artist that's writing all the time, even when there isn't an album to put out? Definitely, it, it's, we sort of just go with it when it comes. You know, if one of us is feeling like it, we'll come down here and start tinkering around, and then the other person will come in the room and go, ooh, ooh, what's that? Okay, and then we're off and yeah. running again. Um, I haven't been to since we finished the last one, I haven't been that active, but Justin has. He's already got a few ideas going that are really exciting, really great. So yeah, we're pretty much always, always doing it one way or the other. One of us sort of is more motivated than the other sometimes. And then, you know, you kind of bring the other person in, works how it works. Was music what brought you together as a couple first or just a coincidence? Kind of a coincidence. Um, we did meet at a show. Um, we were, it was a Vixen show with Lita Ford at uh, the Arcata Theater in St. Charles. Mm -hmm. And at the time I was still living in Connecticut. So we met backstage that night, but of course we didn't, you know, we moved on and I went home and, right. and then we, kept, we ran in, into each other a couple more times. And then we became friends, we became, you know, really good friends sort of through Facebook and then texting and, and all that before anything more than that. And then we decided, ah, oh, let's take the plunge. Let's meet somewhere and see what happens. So yeah, we didn't, we didn't, had no idea that we would actually have any sort of musical chemistry, mm -hmm. but we lucked out and we did. So it worked out. How far was it into the relationship before you realized that there was musical chemistry also? Because I know a lot of people who are in a relationship with somebody who work in the same profession, but they just totally keep everything separate. Yeah, we were nervous about it. So we had been married for probably six months and we bought a house and there was a nice room for a studio. So we got everything set up and we didn't really have any plans. I was still working with Vixen. I thought, well, you know, anybody who wants to come here and create, we got a nice room, we got a guest room, we can do that. And Justin was working on different projects too, right? separately. And we never really talked about it. Nothing ever, you know, it just sort of happened. He was playing something and I was upstairs and I heard it and I started hearing something. So I came downstairs and, 
you know, played a couple chords, started singing a melody, and boom. <laughs> and boom. That was, that was the song, If You Want Me, which actually the first song we ever wrote together ended up on the, the first album. Wow. Yeah, so. When you're making an album, do you have to write 40 songs to get 12? No. No, and we don't, we don't complete them. We know if it's working and if it's special and if it's something that we want to continue with. If we're stuck and it's kind of like, I don't know, then we just move on. Right. So we don't complete a ton of songs and then pick from them. We go with the ones that are working and that we feel good about. And then when we have enough and we feel good about it, then it's time to put it out. And like every musician, you had to cancel stuff as a result of the current pandemic. Is there anything that's on the books that you know is confirmed for 2021 or the end of 2020? I don't know. <laughs> um, we are supposed to go to the UK mm -hmm. and do Hard Rock Hell and a, another show in London. And I don't know if it's going to happen. It's, as far as I know, it's still on. But I don't know if they'll let us into the country. Right. We're all kind of waiting to see you. Some yeah. countries, uh, countries have their reciprocal things. Like I think the whole world will take Canada, but people aren't really taking Americans right now. Not, not thrilled. Not thrilled to have us in their country. So we'll see right. if that goes through. Um, and then uh, we were going to do 80s in the sand in Mexico this year. And that's just been postponed until next year. So as far as we know, we're still on that. And that would be great. We were so looking forward to that. It would be like, you know, a working vacation. Right. So, so looking forward to that. So hopefully that'll happen next year. And we'll see what happens. As, as soon as it's safe, we'll get out and start doing it. But until then. Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. And of course, I had to mention up top, longtime fan of Vixen. Everybody's a fan of Vixen if they like melodic hard rock to say the least and you guys were fortunate to tour with the biggest bands ever from the hard rock genre we yeah this and bon jovi etc does having seen the world at the highest level like that change your expectations of success or is just music fun and you make a couple of bucks and that's it um definitely the latter i mean I, we love, Justin and I love doing it. So it doesn't really matter. Someone's in your kitchen or something. <laughs> I love Zoom. People are walking by. <laughs> well, I mean, she didn't want to be on camera. She, she said, I don't, I can't compete with Janet here. So that's it, why No, she tell her to join us. <laughs> um, anyway, what we were saying, yeah, it's, it's just the love of doing it and doing it in front of 50 right. people or 50,000 people. I mean, it's great either way. So, um, you know, we're definitely not in, in it for the money or any sort of big stardom deal. It's, it's what we love. We love doing it together. And we're very lucky to have some great fans that, right. you know, and that's all we need. For you personally, were you always scrapbooking and keeping memories from years past pre-internet because now everything you do is recorded whether or not you right. know it. and somebody has it in some form if if you reach out and went hey this gig i did at mulcahy's on long island uh eight years ago does anyone have footage of it you'll have within a couple of hours every angle of it but were you keeping exactly. everything over the years i have i'm not no not very organized i have a box of stuff box of stuff a box of stuff yeah, and yeah. at one point I did kind of go through it and rather than keep whole magazines and stuff, I kept like the covers and then sure. what we were in it. So it, I kind of condensed it a little bit. So I have stuff, I have great memories and I can, you know, go through that and find some little gems of, of things from the past. But no, I am not a scrapbooker or a super organized um, memory keeper. But there's, oh, cool. there's some good stuff I might break out at some point. In fact, when we were moving, I found a bunch of pictures in a drawer. So I posted some on Facebook and I had people going, God, I wish you moved more often. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing all these old shots of like me with David Cassidy and, you know, just sort of off the wall, things like that. 
when people used to find these big treasure troves, it used to be the sign to make a book, make a coffee table book, something along the lines of a memoir. Now it seems like when people find all that, they go, okay, well, if I put out one new old photo a week for the next two years, I've got quite a social media account. Sounds like <laughs> where you're at. There you go. I could probably do that. I definitely have enough, you know, little clippings from Metal Edge and right. And, and stuff like that, but I, I could probably go a couple of years posting one a day. Wow. Aspirations, to say the <laughs> least. And you mentioned this new album being done for a while. Does that mean that the next one is even a thought? Um, always. Yeah, like I said, Justin's already working. Um, and it depends, you know, we would love to get out and play this album. Right. That would be that would be great for a while. But of course if that doesn't happen, we'll just keep moving forward and making more music. So That's great. There's definitely another one in us. And then uh, aside from all the music like everybody, you've been probably off the road longer now than any period of your life, so you've probably been watching more TV than ever. Do I have that right? Oh yeah, we're we're binge watching a few things here and there. Any recommendations you could pass along from the TV or streaming worlds? Oh, let me see. Well, we we just finished the Umbrella Academy, which was fun. Perfect. The person uh, sneezing in the background just did too. Yes. Yeah, we <laughs> did that, and that was that was fun. And we did Narcos, which sure. was good on a different level, very intense, but but really good, riveting. And of course, you know, back. Earlier we did, we finished Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. Those are just great. So anybody who hasn't seen any of those, they're all really, really great. You like a good thriller. That's what uh, I'm getting. There's not a lot of sitcoms or laugh tracks in what you watch. Actually, Shit's Creek. Okay. Shit's Creek. We, we definitely, and we still watch those, even though we've already seen them. If we're in the mood to, to get a good laugh, we, that's our go-to there. Cool. Okay. Well, I've got things to add to my list. So in closing, Definitely. Jeanette, any last words for the kids? For the kids? What do you mean? TV shows or? Oh, no. Just uh, last words of, some people use this as a, as a, what do you call that? The box that you, the soapbox to, uh, to give their views. And other people just say, no, go to my website, check out what I've got going on. And thanks. Your call. Okay. Well, for the kids, I will give advice because, you know, we have kids and um, definitely speak your mind, be your own person. That's all I got to say. Well, Those two things will help you in your life. Case in point, uh, many years <laughs> of success here and continued artistic pursuits. There's no slowing down for Janet Gardner. So. Thank you so much for your time and hope to see you live in New York when this all blows over. Thank you, Darren. Yeah, we will, we will definitely be hit, hitting the East Coast. Hope to see you there. Looking forward. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks, you too. Outrocast.